What is up, YouTube? Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It is a chilly one here in Nashville, and we are going to get out on the golf course. I think it's about 37, 38 degrees with the wind chill in the 20s. In today's video, we are going to play the first four holes. In my opinion, there isn't a more difficult opening four holes on any golf course I've ever played. Our first four holes here at Nashville Golf and Athletic Club are very difficult. Opens with two par fours, a par five, and a par four. They're long, difficult greens to hit, and if the pin locations are tough, that just adds to it. Let's go ahead and get on out there. This is number one out here at Nashville Golf and Athletic Club. Par four, it is about 430 yards from all the way back. We are on the back edge of the back tee box. We're gonna play it all the way back. For this tee shot, you don't necessarily wanna just pull out driver and hit away because over this rise that you can't quite see from here is water. The ideal tee shot placement is about 250 to 260 from right here on the left side of the fairway. Gives us our best angle into the green for attacking that pin and not hitting it in the water. So with no warm up, a couple practice swings, and uh, yeah, we're loose, we're ready to go. I will take that every time on this hole, especially with no warm up and 30 something degrees. We have placed it well. We are sitting about 170 to the center of the green, maybe 185 all the way to that back pin. You can see now why this is a very difficult hole. This is the number one handicap hole here at National Golf and Athletic Club. That green just kind of sits out there on the edge of the water and anything left of the edge of the green is going in the water. So this makes for a very difficult approach shot. The tee shot is not particularly difficult. That is why it's so key to place it where you want it. Little left to right wind here. Gonna play this kind of left side of the green. I naturally play a fade, so that wind's going to push it even more. I don't like aiming out over the water just because. So we're going to take the left edge of the green. That ball will move right and hoping to land it from the pin to the edge of the bunker. Give ourselves a putt for birdie. Tough to see from there, but so excited with that shot. Looks like we're about pin high, 15 feet right of the hole. Gives ourselves a great look at birdie. Let's go make it. Just wanna show you how thin this green is here. You've got the bunker on the right, water on the left. And literally, if you miss it just off the green, it will roll down into the water. Your bailout area is this bunker, which isn't terrible, but does make for a difficult shot to most pins on this green, because you don't have much green to work with. You pretty much just need to hit the green. Like I said, pin high, very excited about that. About 15 feet, anytime you give yourself a look for birdie on this hole, you're always excited. Would have loved to have made that putt. However, leaving one with a par, you're never disappointed with. Gave ourselves a pretty good look there. Broke just a fraction more than I thought. Typically everything kind of breaks to the water. However, we were pretty much putting straight down to the water. And the back side of that green does slope a little bit towards the center. So it just didn't quite give it enough. This is number two, par four. I believe it's about 460 yards from all the way back here. There's the fairway, you can see it right about there. Pretty dead straight hole, however, there are trees on the right, out of bounds, all down the left. This is 
definitely a hole you want to hit driver on. This is going to be dead into the wind just about, maybe a little off our right. Going to favor the right side of the fairway just because a miss left is no good and with the wind pushing just a little left. Just going to give ourselves a little more room for air. just a little bit but should be just fine got a question for y'all what is the most difficult golf course you've ever played mine would have to be one of the two courses down in muscle shoals alabama fighting joe or the schoolmaster if you've never played those oh my goodness they are long and difficult however my home course here at nashville golf especially with these starting four holes it is very difficult as well really test your game and i attribute a lot of my ball striking to how difficult this golf course is i don't think this hole is quite 460 yards long i'm gonna guess it's closer to 440. i don't know what the actual yardage is haven't looked at our scorecard in a little while so i'm give or take 10 yards we have about 145 yards left here bunkers are all in the front so we definitely want to make sure we get to the green being a little long on this hole is okay much easier chip or putt from a little past the hole a little left not too bad though as we're walking up here you can see by the bunkering in the front you're really not able to run any shots up to this green have to fly everything all the way to the green so if you're in the trees it does make for a difficult approach we're walking up here i am just a little long left however pretty easy chip from here I don't know if you notice how low I hit that chip. I wanna get that ball rolling as soon as possible. I use the gap wedge for that shot. If I have green to work with, let's get that ball rolling. We're gonna be making so many more chips and leaving ourselves close putts for the up and down. We have a beast of a par five here at number three, about 660 yards. Your aiming point is gonna be this little castle looking tower off in the distance. That's kind of positioned on the right side of the fairway. Everything slopes a little to the left. So if you can get something falling on that tower, you're going to set yourself up for a great second shot. As you can see from that tee shot, I did pull it a little bit. However, I play a cut and that cut back for us. So it should just be on the left side of the fairway with a pretty good look at our layup. Like I said, this is a beast of a par five. From here, we still probably have 360 yards or so, and the layup doesn't get a whole lot easier. It's a pretty tight layup with a little bunker to the right that you can't see from here. And we're wanting to get this around 100 yards for our approach shot. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip a hybrid, get down there around 100 yards. Couldn't have hit that much better. We're gonna go find it and hit it again. I wanted to pause for a second and address something. Walking down the fairway and I noticed we lost this tree here on number three. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I posted up a little stinger shot the other day where it looked like I was gonna hit it through the gap right there and I ended up taking it around this right tree that is no longer here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shot that I hit. I am standing exactly where I hit the shot from, so check it out. Like I said, it's a pretty tight layup for such a long hole. 
You've got out of bounds left. There's a bunker right, and there's actually a creek on the other side of that bunker. We left ourselves a very good look here. Very happy with that shot. Let's see if we can get it up and down. We left ourselves the number we were hoping for. We are just over 100 yards left here. Middle pin, not much room in front or behind this pin, so our number needs to be precise. Wind grabbed that one just a little bit, a little left. However, our number was good and we are putting. Wanted to show you how thin this green is. We have a bunker right here, just short to my right. There's the pin, not more than three paces on. And you really only have about six paces past that pin to be over the green and possibly in this back bunker. Very thin long green takes a very precise wedge to hit it close a little long a little left let's roll this in oh. would have loved to have made that putt however on this opening four hole stretch in these conditions, I'm never disappointed with three straight pars. See if we can't make a birdie here on four on this opening beast of a stretch. Number four, par four, about 450, maybe 460 yards, uphill dog leg right. Another one that you're gonna be pulling out the driver for. There's no reason to lay up here. I naturally play a fade, so this hole sets up perfect for me. There's a cart path off in the distance that I like to aim at. Just kind of take it straight at it, just kind of going back up the hill there. That's my aiming point. Actually a really bad slip however we saved it. it was pulled fractionally I think it's gonna work out all right you never want to slip however that's why we get in the gym and train work on our balance agility so when we do have times that we may slip being an awkward lie we're able to use our athletic ability to still execute the shot. Like I said, I thought we were gonna get away with that shot, we did. We didn't get a lot of distance out of it, but that's okay, kept it in play. We have about 180 yards left to the middle of the green. Pin looks to be back, so maybe 190. Playing a little uphill into the wind, I'm looking at about 210, 215 left. I will take that shot every time. Let's go make this birdie putt. Wanted to show you the right side of this fairway. All hazard, can't miss this fairway right. So we definitely missed it in the right place. You can play it up on that slope, kind of let it run down to the fairway. Walking up here, very happy with the result of that shot. Gives ourselves a look at birdie. Tough to see here on camera, but this pin is in a little peninsula. Right here it all falls off, and right over here it all falls off. So it's kind of on a little shelf up here. Difficult to get it close. Your miss on the approach and drive favor the left side. Definitely where you would want to miss it. The right side, as you can see, pretty much just falls off a cliff. how you want to end it that is how you want to end it making bird on the last hole of the beast 
Comment below what you think this four hole stretch should be called. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our opening four holes here at National Golf and Athletic Club. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. Like this post, subscribe, and really appreciate all y'all's support. We'll see you when we see you.